Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do some of the DIY swatch dots. This is the second version. I use a little lid from a shoe box, one of those plastic little shoe boxes, and double sided carpet tape. It's sticky on both sides so you can stick it to the box and then peel the back off of it and you got a sticky service surface. I use the 12 millimeter round cabochons. I will have a link where I got mine from AliExpress down below in the description box. You can see they're rounded on one side. I put the rounded side down and use the flat side to do my swatching on. You can also use the double-sided tape, like, you know, that looks like regular old scotch tape, but it's double-sided. Um, it's just not as sticky. So, you can also use, I will also be using these swatch, uh, these craft glue dots. And um, here we go. I'm just going to start swatching them out. Uh, I had a request from one of my friends to um, show my collection. And truth of the matter is, is, um... <laughs> I have two massive boxes of polishes that are not organized into my collection. So I want to get them all organized and then I will show my collection to you all. So I figured they're not going to get put into the collection until they have their little swatch dots on top because I store a lot of my polishes and helmers. So having the swatch dots on top make it much easier for me to pull the drawer open and see what I have. So that's the hold up on sharing the collection. So today I'm swatching out like a hundred of my polishes from these boxes. This one here is a magnetic polish and I've turned the cabochon over so that the rounded side is facing up. And I'm going to hold the magnet over it so that I can see the magnet effect. And then I'll let all of them dry for 24 hours. I put a glue dot on the top of the bottle straight from the roll. I just push it in and then pick up my polish dot on there. And I'm showing you these that I've, I've just, I'm just showing you a few of them today. I'm not going to show you all 100 of them. Um, if you're ever interested in me doing that sort of thing, I can when I do these, but I figured this was going to be too much because <laughs> I have too many to do. So I wanted to show with, share with you how I do them. There you go. You just roll it back and pick up a dot and then push down into the... Here we go. You get to see it better on this one, I think. Push, push, mush it down, kind of center it up. But I really do like this um, way of marking my polishes. For me, it works really well. I'm sure there are less expensive ways to do it. But like I said, I got my little cabochons from AliExpress, and that was a really good deal on them. So I've decided that, you know, now that most of my collection is done with them, that's just how I'm going to keep doing it. I do have another way, and I will show you all that in another video. I just saw it the other day, and... You know, it's definitely a lot cheaper than doing this way. So I will, I will show you all a, even a more economical way of doing it. Uh, as as I get time, I will try to get that filmed. But I really do love being able to open up my drawers and see what are down in the drawers without having to pull every single polish out. So as soon as I get all this swatch dotting done, I will definitely do a tour of my collection. It's one of the most requested videos, and I've kind of done it before, like an overall, but that was a year, year and a half ago, so I'll have to do a redo on that one. So I've got two of these. One's going to go into the swatch bin. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.